So we're gonna take care of the tick problem before it becomes a big problem out here on the homestead. That's one thing um, I've noticed I have, to, I have to keep up with is laying this stuff down um, to prevent all these ticks from getting on us. If you guys remember when we first bought the property, it was a huge deal with all the ticks every time we come out here. Um, but once I spread the granulants out, it pretty much wiped them all out. So we're gonna try to take care of that problem today along with building, um, continue to building on the pig pen. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Stop, think once in a while How long since you was a child And how big all the little things seem to be And just how quick it all fades away Wish it could have stayed for just one more day You can smile and think for a while How long since you was a child Of all the things you should have been Haven't changed my mind since I was nine Should have been a movie star And traveled to countries near and far Countries near and far A stock sitting in my car Thinking back to older days, you can smile. What are you all doing? Huh? You just hanging out? Yeah, well, come on. Everybody wants to tell you hi. I swear they've got bigger since, they, since they've been out here. Look at you. Look at you. Aren't you a friendly little guy? You like your new shelter? Huh? You want an egg, don't you? You want an egg? I'll go get you one. Look at them. They want eggs bad. <laughs> Alright, hold on. That one got an egg bath. I didn't have to bite your shoulder. They said bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs. That's funny. You don't love that. I gotta check your feed. Look here, we got some grass coming up where I planted some seed. You can see it sprouting up everywhere. I didn't know if it was going to or not. It took a little bit longer than I thought. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day wherever you're watching this at. Um, I have a little bit of work going on out here at the off-grid property today. You can see the pigs are doing great. They have adjusted as best as you could expect them to adjust. Um, they absolutely love their new um, home, their habitat uh, that we got set up for them. The electric fence has been holding up perfect. Um, we, we, uh, we're gonna test, I brought my tester again today. I wanna test, make sure the charge is, is doing good. It looks like the charger is a little bit in the shade. Um, it's mid afternoon now, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But so far, so good with the pigs. Um, I couldn't be happier with the way things are going. So let's just, Let's just hope it keeps he keeps going that way uh, so today we're, what we're gonna do um i asked you guys in the last video um if you guys would want to continue to see me building the pig pen in overwhelming response in the comment section is yes film the the rest of the pig pen build we don't care if it's the same as as uh, what you've been filming we're gonna finish i'm gonna try to get 
Um, this section done right here, the short section, and the other short section done over there today. That's my goal for today. And then hopefully tomorrow and come back and finish the rest. And then we can start pulling some wire. So if I can get these two sections set, um, I'll have I'll have three of them done. We'll just get the one big big one done. Let's let's take a look at them for a second. Actually, let me let me put my muck boots on. I'm gonna spray down a little bit just for ticks. I actually brought some stuff. Let me show you real quick for the ticks and my little cedar right there. So I got some. Well, I'll have to I'll pull this out and show you guys in a little bit. But I actually got some um, tick granulant to throw out, and uh, it's supposed to work amazing. Okay, I changed shirts and put my boots on. Brandy told me not to get my Keeping It Dutch shirt ruined because it's the only one I got. Probably should have kept more than one, but I didn't. So we don't want to get that messed up. I'm checking the perimeter fence right now just to make sure there's no limbs on it. I can see there is a log over here on it. So that's the thing when we come out. We come out every day. Um, we got to check the perimeter. That way um, we can make sure the pigs aren't rooting everything up against it and, uh, and mess it up and short it out and get out. But I can see right now if they have one pushed up against it so let's check it out that's what we have to that's what we have to worry about right there who did it which one of y'all did it i know one is one of you <laughs> so with that on it, it was still reading 25 kvs uh, I took it off now. It's rating 4,000 right here. So that's the main concern with this electric fence is um, them pushing stuff up against it and shortening it out. Let me get in here. Oh! Their waller, it rained a little bit a couple days ago and their waller has filled back up some more. Whoa, whoa, easy there. Looks like you got plenty of feed still. Let's take a look in here. Oh yeah. So what I'll do before I leave, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put another 50 pound bag in there. It's probably got 70 pounds. So they're not, uh, my math was wrong when I told you guys last time they ate like 100 pounds in like five or six days. Um, it's been six days and they still got about 70 pounds or so in there. So they're not eating near as much as I remember. And uh, that's good though. That's good because uh, the less the better right now. Are you still wanting some eggs? Okay. Oh yeah. Look at them. I could just sit out here and watch them all day. What? You want some more eggs? You're wearing half the egg. Time to lick it off of you. I promise this is like the perfect habitat for these pigs. They absolutely love it. That one's a hoss. Get in there. Look at them. It's funny. I can't wait to see this thing full and them get in there. They've pushed a big old log down in there. <laughs> That's so awesome. What? What? We got him. I'm telling you, I could watch pigs all day long. Same with chickens. I could sit there and watch chickens scratch and walk around and peck all day long too. Um, but we, today, we got to get some work done. So I'm going to get everything set up. I went and got another 1,000 pounds of uh, bags of concrete. So that's what we're going to be working on now. Let me look at some of these holes and see what we got going on here. I'll have to, I'll have to work some of this dirt out of, out of these. Like I said, it's rained since we've been out here working on it, but we've still got our tight string up So I'm gonna start on this one See how much of that we go through today. Okay I'm gonna get busy starting on these posts and we'll come back and uh, we'll talk a little bit more show the pig some more and then and, and just go see what we got going on the rest of the video So if you guys um, like it, the video so far smash that like button if you're not subscribed yet Please subscribe channel it helps us out a bunch when you like and subscribe and click that notification bell Like Hallie always says and greatly appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video Never been the roving kind of
Okay, I got this uh, one side done minus the two big posts. I'm going to wait until I think my father-in-law is going to come out here and help me in the next day or two. Um, it's a little bit easier to handle those big ones with some help. <laughs> so I got, the, I got all the little ones set on this side. I'm going to start working on the other side, but before I do that, I'm going to take a little break from uh, throwing around the 50-pound bags of concrete. And we're going to spread out some bug blaster turf insect control granulants now this is i've used some stuff last year that works amazing um this is basically the same stuff let me show it to you it's gonna take care of the ants the ticks i mean just all the all the nuisance bugs mainly that's what i'm worried about is the ticks i cannot stand the ticks i'm already sick of the ticks this year and i'm ready for them to go <laughs> i'm ready for them to all die uh, so this stuff is going to work awesome because like i said we did this whole area last year in some of the similar stuff and um, it worked amazing now the pig pen um, we got a, i got a, several ticks on me when i was in there last um, so i'm going to work the perimeter around here where i'm working with this one i got two bags i'm going to do one bag today i'll show you guys doing that uh, i'm going to get inside the pig pen and spread that out too um, so i don't have any concerns of them just eating all of these little granulants so they'll root around and, and rub it into um, the dirt i'm sure but um, they're not going to be licking and, and sucking on on uh, this bug poison you might say so let's do that and then i'm going to feed them i'll probably wrap this video up so it's not real long and uh, you guys can catch us back here um, probably tomorrow trying to finish up these posts um, so let's get some of this stuff out and let's get rid of these ticks once and for all and um, that's one thing i despise in the woods there's two things poison ivy and ticks poison ivy being number one ticks being number two um, but ticks are they're right right they're a close second and uh, i'm ready to get rid of them already They're sniffing around on it, but that's about the extent of it. Get out of there. You can't have that. We're trying to kill all the ticks for you. I get my gloves on, just toss them around over here. It's kind of hard to push this.
Okay, that's all I got for you in today's video. Um, I'm gonna work on this off camera, see if I can get a few more done and uh, call it quits and go home and uh, cook dinner for the girls and hang out with them. Uh, maybe we'll do a farm vlog uh, before too long, give you guys an update what's going on with the house and Abe and the German Shepherds. I know all you guys, you guys love all of them too. So I've been out here quite a bit lately, kind of neglecting you guys on the farmhouse, but um, this is where all the works, what I've been doing. So, that being said, maybe we'll, we'll do a farm vlog next. I don't know. We'll see. Um, you hope you guys are liking this little series, I guess, of the pig pen build. Whenever I get it done, I think I'll put it into its own little um, playlist. Probably off-grid pig pen. I don't know. We'll do something like that. That way, anyone that's looking to build a pig pen, they can go back and watch the whole series. It might be like an eight-series video. I don't know. Or eight-series playlist. I don't know. I think this is like the fourth video of it, I guess. I don't know. Um, but it's coming along. It's coming along. I think we're going to have it done before you know it. Um, we'll get to, I gotta go buy a fence stretcher uh, to stretch this field wire uh, so I don't do it all uneven. I'm probably gonna do that this evening. I'll go get that and then whenever I get it, I'll show you guys doing all that obviously. Um, we're getting close to be able to get this fence up. A few more days of letting these posts sit and, and get a, I think I got about, I'm over halfway done. So uh, another day or so, another full, I, hadn't, I didn't get to work out here all day. It's only been a couple hours <clears throat> just because of schedule wise, but I'll be off work and I should get a full day's work in here within probably tomorrow, maybe the next day. I don't know. And we can knock out all these posts, hopefully. I always set the bar really high. Like, I'm going to do this, this, that, and then, and then I don't always, I don't ever get what I'm going to say. Uh, but I try. Maybe I need to set it lower. And then when I get, I get more, then I'm like, yeah, I did more than I said I was going to. Um, but I don't try to kill myself out here. I try to do as much as I can um, without overdoing it. And today, this is what I got done. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I think you guys will really enjoy our journey here on off-grid property. And like I said, I'll do an update on what's going on with the farmhouse and all that stuff. You know, guys, we're selling it. Are we under contract? Have we have, is it sold yet? What are we doing? We'll be one of the type of videos. And uh, we'll keep you guys in the loop. Because I know a lot of you guys are um, keeping up with that and, and what we're doing. So appreciate, yeah, appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by today's video. Love you guys. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.